Hi, now Gaming here. Welcome to another battle replay. Just a war room two. It's going to be the Empire versus Britonia. This is going to be a very, very interesting battle because um, Britonia only has two infantry units, and it's basically an all-out spam of one unit and a few of the cheaper ones. But basically, they've just brought an army, really. He really can't make an army that's that good because, you know, really, Britonia is not a viable faction. So it's just really hard to play as Britonia and win because they really don't have a diverse roster. They have one skirmisher, like two, two three units of cav, two infantry units. They have one general that's actually viable. And the generals, like, don't have massive mounts. And they really don't have great heroes. And my kind of plan was with this is because he doesn't have, like, anything really to threaten my outriders except from all of that cavalry. So my starting deployment, I deployed uh, outriders, just two standard outriders. These are the standard ones. And then I deployed two grenade outriders. So they fire grenade launchers, so that's going to be very, very cool. So these guys have longer range than those guys, and I don't even get a volley off at the start, only with these ones. Uh, basically, my army comp is four outriders, my general. Um, right, I'll come out of this view because it's very cramped looking at that. So, um, I have two of these hailstorm volley guns, which look very cool. I have crossbowmen, three crossbowmen, and one handgunner. In front, I have three halberdiers, no, four halberdiers. And then I just have a main line of just great swords. Uh, my cavalry on this flank consists of two demigriff knights with halberds on that flank. On this flank, I have four empire knights. Very, very significant cav force. Very good. And basically, that's my army. And um, the enemy consists of basically just tons of spear men at arms and men at arms. So there's like these men at arms, which are the pole arm ones. And then there's spear at spear at arms. His generals. This is the actual king. So he has Pegasus knights and mounted yeomen and peasant bowmen. It's pretty much his army. So we're gonna start off the battle. Straight away, I'm going to give an order to fire. And straight off, we're going to get a load of kills. Just on uh, advancing units. Not necessarily kills, but HP damage. And now he's going to chase one of my uh, grenade outriders with his Pegasus Knights. And I'm going to catch them. See right here, he catches my guys. Which isn't good. And I really need to get these guys out of the fight. So what I do is I pour in a ton of fire from my handgunners and I just try and get all my cavalry out of there and this unit routes and keeps them alive what he's going to do is all of his cavalry including his pegasus knights is going to flank this way straight past my line infantry uh, it's going to flank round into the woods and try and swing round my rear so uh, I have my demigriffs close by in close proximity ready to do this and he has cavalry coming on my flank right there so I'm going to act with my Empire Knights over here. My Empire Knights are going to turn and prepare to fight. And my Gunners are getting very close. And my Crossbowmen, everything is firing. Getting tons of kills on the way in. I'm getting very close range shots with my Hand Gunners. Very good kills. The field is just littered with bodies. And um, my Artillery have been getting decent hits. And then, um, yeah, he basically just charges the front line into my meat shield of Halberdiers, which is really, really good. Now all of his men are pinned on my front line, and now I can reinforce in positions that need it with great swords. So I'll be reinforcing here. I have all these spare great swords up here. So reinforcements will be being put in soon. 
and over here there was a cav fight which my empire knights won there's just a few of the enemy cavalry still alive right there they die and one of these units are going to try and collide with one of my units right here he's going to try and charge this this uh, great sword which is stood still getting some lovely kills and he's firing with his peasant bowman right here they're peasants so they're not exactly great at it see i'm reinforcing all down the center of my line with great swords right here i'm reinforcing i have these reserves i'm bringing now into my reserves and all my reserve infantry i'm bringing around the flank and outflanking with and now I've got my demigriffs, which are in position to uh, defend my flank from the cavalry threat up here. And he is just totally bombarding my men with arrows and has charged my great swords, which isn't great for his cavalry. So I really need to be putting the hurt in right now because uh, this blob fight is now starting to turn into the enemy's favor because I am not reinforcing. In certain positions like this, where I'm pushing his men back, I am winning. I have my gunners pointed the wrong way. If I had my gunners pointed this way, I'd get some lovely shots. And my gunners are obstructed, because these guys don't shoot friendlies. So only this one gun right here can shoot into this blob. So we're going to see if we can follow this volley. See, can we get a volley? Volley. Yes. Nope, obstructors. So all my great swords are now colliding with the rear of the enemy lines, breaking their troops. There's a mass rout going on because uh, down here is the dead body of the king. Right here, the king charged in in a YOLO charge. And my cavalry is now chasing all of the units. I have demigriffs now slamming into the routing troops. This is really, really good. Getting tons of kills on these routing troops. Empire Knights now colliding with the rest of his routing troops. Making sure none of them can come back on routing. Demigriff Knights, very expensive cavalry, destroying his bows. And what unit is still alive? Something is. And my crossbowmen are um, firing into this blob right here. Let's try and get some hits. Are they seriously still obstructed? These guys barely got any volleys off, which is pretty bad. They got 11 kills. No, they didn't. Zero kills. Zero kills. And my general got one kill. 35 kills. 86 kills, I just saw somewhere. Empire Knights racking up to 58 kills. Demigriffs over here ranking up to like 90. But Great Swords on 112 kills. Chasing enemy troops. This is really cool. I'm going to fast forward because it's just chasing routing troops. But guys, that was a replay in Warhammer. So if you enjoyed this replay, like, subscribe for more. Comment down below what you thought. I'll see you guys next episode. Peace.